Hi there, it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today we've got a scrapbook blog hop. I love a blog hop to this week. Um, so this is my project for, oh and a piercing tool. This is my project for the blog hop, blog hop today. Um, the theme is floral and spring. And so I have done a scrapbook layout for bluebells. I love bluebells and I missed them last year. Last year was not a good year for our family. Um, we had a, um, a death in the family and with everything that was going on uh, in the lead up to that, bluebells kind of became a bit of a nothing, um, understandably. So this year I was determined that we were going to go and find a bluebell wood and I was going to take some photographs. Some photographs, about 50 photographs. Uh, so it was a little difficult to choose the one that I wanted, but I've chosen this one. Um, and the reason I've chosen this one is because I've got, I, I used a macro um, filter, well not filter, setting on my camera, so that it's just picked out this little area here. So everything else is faded and it just, oh, I was just so happy with it. So I haven't done a heading. I thought about putting a heading on or a, yes, a, a heading on. And I just, I just didn't really want one. Um, I wanted this big feature here and just mirroring it over here in vellum. So I thought what I would do is tell you how I've put this together because I find scrapbooking on a video doesn't really work. So I've used the uh, Touches of Texture design. I think it's called Touches of Texture. Let's get it out and have a look. Tranquil Textures. Um, and I've now thrown everything on the floor. Never mind. So I've used the Tranquil Textures designer series paper and I'm beginning, continuing to throw it on the floor. Uh, this is retiring from the current annual catalogue and it's gorgeous. It's got so many really useful um, texture backgrounds. Um, so yes, uh, the colours are, let me find them, balmy blue, crumb cake, fresh fig, mint macaron, night of navy, soft sea foam, tranquil tide and whisper white. So I've chosen really contrasting papers. Um, so I've chosen this paper and this paper, so as you see, really contrasting, um, neither of them blue, but the, um, the fresh fig pulls out the colour of the, um, the kind of stem bit of the bluebells. So I really liked that. I've got a, a closer up shot here. So this colour here, it pulls that through. Uh, so that's why I chose the fresh fig background and I chose this because it's dappled and one of the things about bluebell woods in the UK is that you want them to be in dappled sunlight in an ideal world. Not always lucky enough to get it but there we go. So that's why I chose those papers. Then I also wanted to have more of a dapple and I thought the specialty laser cut paper, which I've had sitting on my shelf since the annual catalogue came out at the, begin at the beginning of June last year. So I thought I'd get it out. But then I had a problem with that. Um, so let me grab another little piece. So this is a smaller piece. Um, and I didn't like the cream and I didn't like the white because the white was too white and the cream was too cream. And I wanted to use one of these um, delightfully detailed journaling cards, for, uh, mem memories and more cards. So I wanted to use that as my journaling spot, but I couldn't then use this background because it just wasn't, it was too cream and it wasn't cream enough uh, and it was too white. So, I risked it on the basis that I have some other sheets and I sprayed using 70% rubbing alcohol, champagne mist and crumb cake reinka in a little spritzer and I just, there's a tiny bit left in there, I just 
popped in. It was about five drops of Reinca, quite a lot of champagne mist, and then topped it up with 70% rub rubbing alcohol. Do not use 90 or 100% rubbing alcohol it, if you're using the, the shimmer paint. It tends to uh, make it go into a great lump. You can use water uh, or 70% rubbing alcohol, which has got 30% water. Any more alcohol than that, and it, you're going to have a problem. And you really need to shake it hard, even with 70% alcohol. And then I spritzed it. I did that on a separate sheet and then left it to dry. I did use the heat gun a little but and I've got the effect I want, which is mottled, but with shine. Now, I don't know whether the camera is going to pick this up, but I'll give it a go. It's got shimmer, which is what I wanted. Then I used the Bouquet Bundle die, uh, dies. Bouquet Okay, not bundle, bunch. Bouquet bun uh, bunch dies, which goes with the Bouquet Builder stamp set. And I also use the Everyday Jar dies um, to get lots of florals. And I die cut them in, don't want to put that in there because that's not right. Uh, I die cut them in Old Olive, uh, Pear Pizzazz and Vellum just to get a variety and then built up this great swathe here and then echoed it with the vellum over there. Um, not too happy about this bit here, I need to find something to go there but I'm not going to rush, um, something will crop up that will go there. And then I wanted to keep that mottled shimmery look so I used basic sequins and some of the basic sequins, these are the twinkle as well, are matte. So there are some that are iridescent um, so these ones are shiny, uh, these ones are iridescent, but there's Sahara Sand and I think it's min no soft sea foam, which are matte. And they're just they're sticking to each other. They are self-adhesive, which is brilliant, um, so it's much easier. So I've sprinkled some of those in amongst as well. Um, I stuck bits of the die cut down just with multi-purpose liquid adhesive and then I've just popped some of these on bits that were popping up but I've also got them on uh, some of the die cuts um, just to add a bit more something and then my journaling I did do a little bit of stamping with the jar of love this jar of love with soft sea foam uh, just down that panel there just to break up the background but that's that's what I've done so if you are on the blog hop, thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you are wishing to continue hopping along, if you go over to my website, which is linked in the description bar below, you will find the um, list of people taking part in the blog hop. There's also a next button. There's information about my layout. There's some close ups. So, yes. That's it really. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you found that interesting. This is going to be fun to get into a page protector, but we'll give it a go. Um, but thank you very much. If you've got any suggestions for what I could put there, because it is just mm, not quite right. Um, I would be very welcome. I would be very pleased to have your thoughts on that. Um, maybe some tool ribbon or something, but I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you don't already, uh, it's in the bottom right hand corner. Just click on the subscribe button and then when you come back to YouTube, you'll get a, um, a list of who you subscribe to and who's posted new videos. And it will also be in your feed, but not on your email, so it won't clutter up your email. Um, if you would like to receive my newsletter, you can do that over in on my website which as I say is linked below. If you're in the UK and would like to shop any of these products or anything else please I would be delighted to if you would shop with me, sorry my language is going, uh, I'd be delighted if you would shop with me. I try to look after my customers really well. Everyone who shops with me gets a thank you card and thank you gift and if you use the host code you get a share in the host rewards as well. And they go, they go out about a month after the end of the month because it's a month's code. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you've enjoyed that. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comments 
below. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.